Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to another tutorial on programming essentials in Python. In this series of tutorials, we are going to cover module 4, in which we are going to explain the use of functions, tuples, and dictionaries. At the beginning, we are going to start with functions, and there will be a set of 4 to 5 videos explaining the use of functions, how to use them, how to pass arguments about their scopes, and other things related to functions. So we start at the beginning by understanding what is functions and why do we need, why do we use them. Basically functions are a set of instructions that you can put in that you can use multiple times. In general, let's make it simple. It makes your uh, program more efficient by simplifying uh, difficult tasks, okay? In general, let's say you have a task to for example, enter the number of stu a number of students with 10 grades for each student and then finding the average for each student and how many passed, how many failed. So instead of repeating the, this process several times or many times inside the program, you write them within a function and then you call this function once, okay? And I guess you already use functions a lot through your study, especially in Microsoft Excel when you use functions like sum, max, minimum, average. Uh, count and so on okay also in Python we already used functions like input print integer float and so on so this is basically uh, functions and anyway when you go to your materials in Etacad you have a lot of explanations regarding these these concepts okay so we start at the beginning with functions functions are two types in general the first type is built in functions and the second type is user defined functions so built in functions as the name implies it means these of oh, these functions are predefined by python itself or by the programming language it is a general concept in all programming languages so s examples on built in functions as i said earlier it's going to be the input sorry function and the print function uh, integer function float function, len function, and so on. How do you know this is a function, not a variable? From these parentheses. When you have a variable or when you have an identifier in general, followed by parentheses, opening and closing parentheses, then it is a function. Okay? So this is called built-in function. We already used it. Built-in function, you just need to know how to use it. You know the syntax. You know how to use the built-in function. User-defined function, which is the topic of this module basically the functions that are going to be created by us users okay so how to to do we create functions sorry so I'm going to delete this so we are going to focus on user defined let me enlarge and uh, maximize this user defined functions and we are going to start with the syntax okay so to write a function in Python you use the diff keyword you write it as as it is and then the function name and then parentheses. These parentheses could be empty or could be filled with parameters as we will see in the next video inshallah. And at the end you put a colon as you did in YL4 and F and then you press tab and then here you write the function body. And the function body is a set of instructions. It could be one, two, three hundred line of codes as you finish uh, as you want it depends on the on the scenario basically and then when you finish you start by continuing typing your program the rest of the code okay and basically one part of the rest of your code should be the function call so you're gonna write function sorry name like this okay so as you can see from the syntax we have three main parts in the function definition or in the function itself you must define a function which is like this as we learned in loop we said they have three rules fortunately it's the same number of rules so you remember that we have three rules the first thing is the function definition you do it by writing diff function name could be anything and then the third thing is the function body uh, the second thing sorry and the third thing is the function call or function invocation okay you need to invoke or call the function and in, uh, in other words you need to call it in order to use it okay so 
in built-in functions if you remember we used only to call the function when we write print and that's it this is we call the function the function definition and the function body is already done in Python libraries and you you don't you don't see it you just use it okay but in your case if you write a function for example like I'm gonna show you here uh, let's go to the Python and show you an example like this function here I already wrote it before you see I have defined a function called greetings or any name and then this function has two two commands or two instructions the first one is gonna print welcome to the course and the second print is an indication that we are inside the function and outside the function I called it okay so if I come in this this is gonna be the function definition or the let's say the function header or you can say definition if you want anyway uh, and here the function body let's say the function header better and here we're gonna say uh, here we have the function the function body and here is the function call now you have to remember a very important thing about the function call when you call a function you should use the correct name as the name here with the same cases of the characters and the same number of parameters or arguments so here we have no parameters then here you will have no arguments okay so empty parentheses up empty parentheses down so now if we run it you see this is going to be the result outside function before you see this is a print function then we call the function welcome to the course inside the function and then when we finish we go outside and we continue running the program after the function when the function ends okay and basically this is from your uh, lectures you see when you define a function this function is called a message and inside you print uh, text and when you finish after the end line you're gonna return to the to your program to the rest of the program you are gonna return to the first statement after the function call you see this is a function call we called and then we returned directly here and then we continue executing the program normally from top to bottom okay to bottom so this is basically how function works in in general okay you can try it yourself and again as I said you can read your materials to know more information uh, okay before we end uh, this is a very good thing to mention actually functions in Python comes from where either from Python itself or from module or from code and basically this is what we are gonna focus here in module 4 as you can see here directly from your code you can write your own functions place them inside your code and use them freely this is so basically this is what we are gonna focus on this in these videos the modules and Python functions these things are built-in functions and we use them as we need them thank you very much for watching I hope to see you next videos have a nice day